again in my video. Boom! Welcome back to Boring Reviews. Boring Land! Oh, Come just on. kidding. Blasphemer! We know all things. <laughs> all right welcome back to born reviews nick here jody and we are so excited to give you our review i'm excited because jody is back for a review for the first time in a long time i know <laughs> and it's funny because i think the last one we did there zara was an srk film oh yeah today we're looking at fan Fan, yeah. See, that wasn't too hard. Not right? at all. <laughs> she always gets mad at me for giving her the hardest things to pronounce. <laughs> that one's easy. So here is Fan. Um, a lot of people say that it is inspired by the uh, Hollywood film with Wesley Snipes and Robert De Niro. Mm. I didn't get a whole lot of that from at least the little bit of research I did. But this stars SRK in dual roles. He plays the superstar Aryan Kana. Kara, Kana. Korana? Kana. Yeah, I was right. Arden Kana. And then he also plays the fan, Garov. And so we have this movie where it is a superstar who is maybe a little bit on the decline or maybe not, but he's still superstar status. And he has these fans and one very big fan, Garov, who is just obsessed with him and just it's his dream to meet him. And to have five minutes, he says, which I don't think he just wants five minutes, but no. five minutes of his life just to talk to him, which as a fan of any superstar, how realistic is that, right? Yeah. You're not going to get five minutes or five seconds. So he goes to this, it seems like an annual birthday celebration where they go in front of um, Ari and the Superstar's house to say hello and whatever. There's all these people there. Yes. And he Overwhelming. is ready to just show him this trophy he won that we'll get to in a second. And he just wants, you know, five minutes of his life, and he has this whole thing planned out. But before we get into that, what are some of your initial thoughts on the movie Fan? So, <laughs> good and awesome. bad. Like, I mean, it's good because halfway through, I was so down. I was like, I don't want to watch this anymore. Like, because the fan, like, was just doing these horrific things, like, ruining the superstar's career that I didn't want to see it anymore. I was like, I'm done. He's, really, he's like, crazy. She gets very tensed in these, you know, moments of suspense and she just like stresses oh, okay. out yes. so much. I'm just sitting there chunks. I've seen it a million times in other movies, but she just gets so stressed out. Yeah, so I don't like that at all. However, at the same time, I guess that means that they did a good job portraying their roles because I was clearly like over it. I did finish it, but... Yeah, of course. Yeah. So it's funny because um, a lot of times we'll do reactions, but she's just, she's got a million things that she wants to do. And she likes movies, but she doesn't love movies as much as I do. And so... You know, I, I'm just, I can't wait to watch the movie, and she's got stuff to do, but I was watching it, and she's like, oh, is that that fan movie? And I was like, yes, you want to watch it? Let's sit down and let's watch it. So we did, and, um, you know, it's just a little over two hours, so it's not a very long film, and this movie for me, especially the first half, I was into this movie. I was, I was loving it. I thought it was really cool. I mean, it's a basic premise of an obsessive fan, a stalker almost, crazy person, right? But... I, w I was totally into it, and I'm just sitting there like if I had my popcorn, which I didn't, I'd just be eating the entire thing up because I was loving it. And then the second half, it turns into this over-the-top action film that we were kind of making fun of in the trailer, like with him swinging around. Like, it's like, please let that be like a part of a movie he's in or something. But no, it wasn't. It was just, you know, they threw some action into this film, this more dramatic, suspenseful film. They threw a whole lot of over-the-top action, which for me took me out of the film. I thought, you know, we, we don't need all that stuff. Both these guys are now all of a sudden superstars. Yes. You know, most actors, they don't do their own stunts. They're not all Tom Cruise. I was just, That's so funny because I was totally thinking during it, like, is this was like a Mission Impossible scene with Tom Cruise, like, oh, flying totally from the windows and, yeah, on the roofs. And, I, and I, I feel like I understand what the director was going with that. Like, so, all right, so you have SRK's character, well, they're both his characters, but Ari and the superstar, where he's... Senior. Yes, senior. Very yeah. good. He he's older than Garov, like by twenty years, so he calls him senior. He's kind of a punk. Like he and I kept saying that the movie, like he he doesn't bring it on himself. No one deserves that kind of obsessive fandom, but he kind of puts himself in these bad situations because he just wants to dismiss Garov instead of being more political about it. And I'm not saying every superstar needs to give every fan five minutes. I'm not saying that at all. That's ridiculous. But when you have someone and when he first meets him, Garov had gone overboard, had detained this guy that he had a beef with in the acting world, 
and he videotaped this guy apologizing, but he also beat him up just as a gift to SRK. SRK or Aryan found out and he was very mad about it. had the police detain him so that he can talk to him. And he was just like, he, he has to see that this guy's obsessive. Like, my approach would be just give him five minutes, you know, just placate to that. I appreciate it, but you, you cannot see me ever again. You know, yes, you matter, blah, blah, blah. I would have handled it more politically, but he just tried to dismiss it. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm scaring you. Don't ever do it again. Just go home and no one even think about it again. And of course, he doesn't know how crazy this guy is, but if a guy is going to kidnap someone and beat up a superstar, an actor, then you, you don't know what he's got to do. You got to, you know, maybe even talk to your experts and your your, your people and like, well, how should we handle this? Go get the police involved. Let them take care of it. But he was just so um, so overconfident that I feel like he he was annoying. And I think that was a point. I don't think that that was a misstep by them. But that, that kind of bothered me. And so I found myself rooting for Gar Garov throughout the entire film. And she's getting mad. How do you root for this or that? I'm not saying what he did was justified, but I, I felt more connected to that character. And I'll tell a little bit more later on, but I feel like you have something you wanted to say or a few things. Well, I'm I was just say, much. I feel like, I'm going to call him Senior. Ooh. Senior, his attitude and everything fit perfectly for a superstar. He was busy. Definitely. He's going to be arrogant in a sense of the fact that he's used to everything being done for him and having money and everybody wants to meet him. So I totally see him acting that way. Like, I don't have time for you. And since he feels... A, I feel like a lot of superstars tend to feel like they're untouchable. Like they can do <laughs> things and it's okay because they can just pay off or people aren't going to hurt him because they're famous. So that's how he kind of was. He's like, dude, there's nothing you can do. I've got all these people who are going to back me up. You're fine. Like, go. I won't even give you five seconds. Slap. So I felt like... As the same time, you want to be like, oh my gosh, this is a super crazy dude. What are you doing? At the same time, in his mind, he's not really thinking all the way. He's thinking he's amazing, and I'm just going to give this guy a talk, and it's going to be amazing. He's going to take it. And he's going to be like, yes, you're so right. I'm going to change my life for you and go on my merry way. Yeah, no, I mean, I completely agree with you because that's what they were going for. Yep. They definitely played into that superstar. And I wonder, I don't know SRK at all, but it's, it's hard not to wonder – you know, how much of that Aryan Kana character was like his real life character? Because I, I don't care how nice you are when you're in that world and everyone's telling you how awesome you are and they're paying you tons and tons of money and you've been in the game for as long as he have, he has, you're going to have an ego. It's just, I mean, I'm sorry. You're just going to. People have an ego even if they don't have that kind of money. <laughs> Ain't that the truth. And those are the people that do not need to be superstars. Yes. But he, he was annoying to me and I thought that was perfect because that – gave you a way to to feel for Garv. So Garv is he's just a huge fan of this guy. And it's it's you know mostly innocent, kind of creepy where he's got his wall of the millions of pictures. Oh my God. You know a lot you can see a lot of teenager kids doing that, right? Whether yes. it's boys, usually it's the girls that they're in love with that are movie stars and opposite for the girls, those those guys they have a crush on. In today's world obviously it doesn't the gender doesn't really matter, but you have the pictures of those people that you have um you you look up to, right? And so um I can see that. And then he does this competition every year where he they do the celebrity impression competition. And his his performance was so awesome. I watched it a second time because I just thought it was so cool. It was weird and it was different, but it was cool the way he had his parents involved and they were producing this little performance on stage and he was act, he was dancing, you know, with himself, the same actor doing the dance moves. So he had it really well, but it wasn't pitch perfect, which was cool because the guy is never going to be as good as the original in the movie. Um, I thought all that was cool, and he's smiling, and he's happy. He's got this beautiful woman that's, like, chasing after him. He can care less because all he cares about is senior. I know. And getting to the birthday celebration, he wants to take the train to, I think it was Mumbai, to get there the same way that, SR, that our encounters did by sneaking onto it. He want, he had the money for it, but he wanted to sneak WT. onto it. And he won yeah, WT without ticket, very good. And he gets caught, and they throw him. He he throws himself out the train. You have the whole nonsense. He wants to stay in the same hotel, the same room. I mean, I, I thought all that was cool. Like he's just living out that fantasy. He's doing whatever. It would have been even cooler if he wanted to like be an actor himself, and he went to that same route. But yeah. he just wanted me. That's all he wanted to do. He won this trophy for his performance for like the third year in a row. He wanted to give it to him. He wanted to say how much he loved him. And for him, I really think for that small time. 
that may have been enough. Maybe he would have closed that chapter. Maybe, more than likely not, but maybe, who knows? But those enemies, we create them sometimes, and we create our worst enemies sometimes, and so that's what happens. But you just feel so much, at least I did, because he's like the underdog story. He's that regular person. He cries, and he's sad, and he just wants to meet this guy, and I was pulling for him, and when he was running away from Ari, and I was like, yeah, get away. This is awesome. Near that third act, then I started to turn on. I'm like, okay, this guy's nuts. This guy is super crazy. When he went, you know, what was the scene? Probably more than likely that most people started to turn on Garv. Where did he go that was too far? Well, I mean, there's a few things, right? Right. I think probably what was too far is when, for me personally, it was like way back in the beginning, and I'll explain (laughs) that in a second. But I think when it really hit was when he started like, slapping that wax mannequin's like face and like freaking out for all the public to see but it was really really too far when he went into his home there you go that, to his wife and yes. his kids that was way too holding far. the child i was like oh my gosh and luckily the movie didn't go too far yes. and have him abuse him in any way and he didn't want to do that but he definitely wanted to scare this guy he wanted to prove this guy and he's it's a great line they say in the trailer in the movie he said you know it's not going to be a fan chasing a star the star is going to chase the fan yeah, and, and it he, happened it, it did and it, i mean i said the first half really like the first two-thirds i really liked the whole thing where he was impersonating um Arian Khanna in london and different places the whack museum he did a great job of he had like the hoodie on or whatever and he was mm-hmm. acting all too cool and then he went too far and went crazy and they're like what's wrong with this guy and then at the um the wedding ceremony oh, or something like yeah. that the um pre-wedding ceremony whatever that was with yep. that diplomat, whoever that guy was of high stand that paid a lot of money to get Arian Connor there, um, when he you know touching the girl that was that was too far. But I loved the cat and mouse game. I loved how even us as a viewer, okay, which one is the real one? And I thought it was him that was dancing with her at first, and then she gets on the thing. She's like, oh, he's not too far from you. He's like, no, that's me. I'm not on the stage. And then they're doing the whole chasing thing, and then they get to the over the top action. But the whole his whole plan to get back at him, I thought was really cool. Um, his disguise was kind of lame. I don't care if he has a beard and he sits right in front of you. You're going to know, hey, that looks a lot like me. But I love most of this. It was over the top at the end. I did like the last little fight scene where they're climbing up the little scaffolding and they're fighting on that whole thing. And he tries to catch him and you have all that whole thing. But I overall, I really, really like this movie. I did not like the end. It definitely brought it down probably a whole grade level for me, at least in score. But you're right. He goes too far. And it's it's creepy when he goes into the family's house, but it's so awesome because he is he's obsessed. He's not right in the head. And well, the, the, sorry, go ahead. See, you can tell he's not right in the head just by his reaction when he's with the whole crowd for um, Senior's birthday, because right like SRK did an amazing job when he looks up and sees him, and at first like everybody's jumping around, he's just looking at all of a sudden, just like his eyes and his his screaming, and SRK did an amazing job of somebody who is just so like enamored like there's not even like a word for how obsessed he is with this character he's he's got his trophy and his sweets and i mean that's where to me i was like oh we're going too far already because you could just tell like this is beyond and it broke your heart when his sweeps fell down oh my gosh and people stepped on his sweets and yeah that did make me sad I'm, i'm glad you said it i was gonna mention it eventually but i'm glad you said it srk did he did a good enough job as the superstar Arian Khan. he did he did he did a fine job but he did an amazing job as the fan. Absolutely phenomenal. I mean, my hat goes off to him. I have, I have not seen too many performances in Indian cinema, honestly, that are on the level of what he did with the Gaurav character. And so when we're watching this movie, I'm thinking to myself, okay, there's different ways they can do it. With Captain America, when they made him look so skinny before mm-hmm. he got into the mm-hmm. chamber, it was actually a skinnier actor, and they CGI'd Chris Evans' face onto him the whole time. And they do it pretty flawlessly. You can notice it, but they did a pretty good job. Um, so I was thinking that's what this was because you, you see the two characters, Garv's shorter than SRK, yeah. a few of the things look smaller. There's one point where his shirt's like open like right here and you can see his chest and he doesn't have nearly as much muscle definition as you can see the actor Aryan has when he's doing different action roles and you see his arms and his chest is more defined. Um, he's in really good shape. And so I was thinking it was the same thing as Captain America First Avenger, that they, they got a different actor and they put his, his face on it because you can tell some of the things on the face wasn't exactly right. You can see the CGI on that. And even that scene that you were saying, I was getting goosebumps when you were talking about it, where he, he sees him and then he starts screaming yes. and you see his eyes a different color. Um, it was an awesome scene, a lot of emotion, but I'm like, oh, that's just not, that's not him. That's just his face. 
I looked it up. There's a cool video on YouTube about how he did both roles, and that is 100% SRK as the fan. They went in and they did um, VFX, they did the prosthetics, and they did him. He was in the chair for like five hours a day. I think it was like 70 days he shot this character. 70 days, five hours a day in that chair getting the makeup on. They put some prosthetics here. I'll show a short clip right here. And then they also did the VFX where they made his shoulders smaller. They made his chest less defined. They went in with the computer and they were able to change some of those things. But that was him doing all the physical acting, all the facial expression acting. And they did that to make him look younger, which is phenomenal. But he was also able to give that kind of performance with wearing all of that nonsense. Yeah. And the little dots they put for the VFX. I just... I was blown away. And if you have not seen this movie because you think, oh, it's SRK, it's Bollywood, whatever, you've got to check it out just for his performance because his performance is phenomenal as that fan. And he is what really helped me cheer for him the whole time through. Is that the same video where they're talking about how, like, pools of, like, sweat would beat up in his yeah. cheeks? Yeah. he said he had, like, bags of water because it's sweat. And all he wants to do is just, like, go <laughs> like that, but he's just got to act the whole so day. So gross. So gross. So, He speaking, did a phenomenal job. He did. He did an amazing job. A couple. I'm just gonna bust into it. A couple of things I really, really bust didn't like. Into it, yep. Yes. Negatives. Really, really didn't like bum, is bum, bum. I didn't like. Um, well, one is the eyes. I like to call them junior, junior and senior because I just thought that was like, I don't know. It was just different and unique and just how like much it. he. Like, yeah, he like de- was devoted to him. But I feel like sometimes Junior's eyes were dark and sometimes they were light, and it just kept flipping on me, and I didn't like that. That threw me out. Like I understand that people's eyes color can change a little bit with what you're wearing. It might be more blue or, or yeah. And like you have hazel eyes, so if you're wearing darker colors, they look a little darker. If you're wearing green, they look a little more green. But I felt like his were just way too much of a contrast, dark or light. So that threw me off. The other thing that just drove me crazy is his nose was clearly very, very different than seniors. 100% different. And they make mention in the movie. Over and over. So how are people not realizing this? How are they not picking up right away? And all these places he went and acted like a fool, there were cameras everywhere. All they had to do is at the wedding was say, hey, here's senior right here talking to these women, and here's junior dancing with your daughter. Like it wasn't me. If they're watching him on the cameras. I know. And I know eventually at the end they were like, oh, yeah, we show the footage, and he was released from all the allegations and whatnot. But things like that, I'm sorry, they just drove me crazy. I just couldn't handle it. But again, I I thought what was brilliant about the film was how they hid some of those plot holes. For example, he – Arian Khan holds a press conference to deny the allegations. This is not me. This is someone else. But he does it in such a jerk fashion. If you hold a press conference, and I've never done one before, but watch it on TV – you, you're going to speak, and then you're going to take questions. Yeah. Unless you're forced to like an athlete has to. He called the press conference, but he refused to answer any questions. You want to free yourself of these allegations, answer the questions. Because you are innocent, so you're gonna, the innocence is going to come through. He was such a jerk about it. So he wasn't really there long enough for them to look at this or that. Yes, people, <laughs> like our friends on YouTube, I'm a big fan on YouTube. Our fa- the people that we are fans of, we are going to notice different similarities. But for me, I don't notice no size. I really don't. Sometimes we'll watch a movie and she'll point it out or someone else will or eyes or whatever it is. And I'm like, oh, yeah, you're right. He makes fun of the no size when he's talking about the wax, you know, whatever. Oh, they make it so big. That's not how big my nose is. And so they kind of play with it a little bit. But again, if you, if you see someone where everything else looks like him but that, you're just going to be like, oh, maybe they got a nose job or something. That's the person. That's awesome. I understand what you're saying. Definitely plot holes up the wazoo I just in this film. I don't think they looked like identical twins. I thought that there was a No, and that's very what was so awesome about it. The same difference. actor, they didn't look identical. Exactly. So I just felt like people should be able to notice, like, seniors older with children, and this is like a young college kid. Like, right, but at the same time, and you're right, but at the same time, you know, we don't see these people without the makeup, without the glitz, and without the glamour. I remember yes. we saw Jessica Simpson at the airport years ago, yeah. and I did not believe it was her. I think she was like, hey, it's Jessica Simpson. And I'm like, no, it's not, because she looks short, way shorter than I expected her. She's like five foot one, five foot two. I'm like, that's not her. And she, in real life, she was a real person. But you see her on TV, and, you know, she takes the entire screen because they have all the actors, height-wise, not width-wise. And... You know, she's got the makeup on, and she looks great, and she looks beautiful. She had a baseball cap, a sweater, and she looked way more shorter than I expected her to be. I was not familiar with her to be able to say, oh, yeah, you're right. It definitely was her, but to me, it didn't look like her. I could, I would have believed if you would have said it's a lookalike. But 
obviously it's a movie. I just, I really liked it until the end. It really turned me off mostly at the end. Some of the points, diff different things. The Aryan Khanna character really annoyed me, which is probably the point. But there was other times where he had some redeeming qualities. Like he seemed like a good dad. He seemed like a good husband. So why was he such a punk in front of everyone else? Oh, and why in the world would his wife let Junior into the house when she's calling the phone, which is a smart move. And he's like, oh, I'll just tell you inside. No, tell me right now. Because we know there's a cycle on the Because loose. the script has them I have to go in there. I know. And at least, they, at least they had that phone call so it wasn't like us like complaining about it. But you're right. But at least she noticed right away, uh, she this did. is not my husband. She did. And then, since she's got a security guard right outside her house, you think she would have like some button or something in her house that she could just press. Yeah. Some way of communicating. There's no them. way he would have got in knowing there's a look like and they have to call. Like, yes. I'm sorry, honey, if this is you, your phone's going to ring and you're going to answer it right Call now. Call me on your cell phone right now and I'll answer it. Yeah, yeah, no, like, and you can, you can apologize. Like, I give that to you. There's there's a lot of plot holes, but again, this is not a film that I'm like, you know, this should have been sent to the Oscars. This, <laughs> you know, is A+. Plus. This is, yeah. you know, it's it's a fun movie, but I enjoy it a lot more than I, well, maybe not, because I was really excited by the trailer. I did not expect it to be as entertaining um, as it was. I really enjoyed it. I'm ready to give it a grade. I think we talked about all the things I want to talk about. SRK as Garov, absolutely fantastic. Did a great job. The whole special effects team, makeup crew, did a fantastic job. It's really cool. Watch that thing on YouTube. It talks about how they were trying to get around this whole thing about having it be real um, physical acting with the VFX and all that kind of stuff. Really cool. My grade for this, or do you want to go first? Either way. Because I know you're lower than I am. I'll go first. My grade, at least I think you are. My grade for this film for fan, um, going into it, I thought, okay, this is probably like a C plus, B minus best. I'm going to give this movie a solid B because I really did enjoy the first two thirds a lot. There was some issues. There was this or that. Things weren't perfect. Some of the acting wasn't top notch. Um, I didn't really feel like it was believable that the parents were just so supportive and then so surprised and the mom turns on him right away. Some of that part was kind of weird. Um, I didn't really dad. believe that they were able, sorry, that they were able to put on that whole performance with all of the production. Yes. That would cost so much money. I was like, even the dad, you could have just given him five minutes. Okay, but I have like a million fans. So if I give five minutes to every fan, like there goes the rest of my life. Like, But at the same time, he's his dad. Like how I many know, people are I irrational know. when it's their kids? I mean, it's we're so teachers. True. Come on. It's so true. So um, that's my score. I'm giving it a solid B, which is still a really good score. But it's, it's not going to be up there with the other films that we've reviewed, um, most of them. I'm going to give it a C. It was average. I'll admit. <laughs> I thought it was going to be. <laughs> C. I felt like SRK did an amazing acting job. He played both roles very, very well, and they were very different. I didn't feel like he confused any of them and blended them. I mean, as much as I love Jack Sparrow and, Cap uh, and um, Pirates of the Caribbean, I feel like Johnny Depp has kept that character for every movie he's been in. And so it was my fear going into this movie where an actor is playing two roles he's going to somehow blend them on accident. or You know what I mean? Like, that's just hard. But I feel like he did very good. But um, I feel like there's just too many plot holes. There are just too many. He's got this beautiful girl chasing after Junior, who Junior's not going to give her any time of day with. Mm. And Whisper. the one thing that's going to upset Junior the most is by Senior pretending to be Junior proposing to the girl. And, like, that's how you catch him. And then he has this whole oh, gun whole chase part, yeah. and the whole shooting of the – it just – That part was a huge letdown. Yes. And not just – His revenge. Not just that, but the fact that Junior – falls off the building and dies, people aren't going to question Senior saying, but this dude's been impersonating you. You didn't just push him. You, didn't, you don't even, I felt like it was just <laughs> a little boost. A little boost. <laughs> just boost off that building. So, yeah, I just felt like they just wrapped up and everything was perfect again. And it was a year later and he's waving. And, mm -hmm. and then this man who destroyed his life, he's just going to see him and go, oh, yeah, Junior, hello. Thank you. Like, I'm sorry. And I'm not trying to make fun of the movie. I'm not. I just <laughs> felt like honesty. there was too many unrealistic moments in it. No, I mean, <laughs> you're making me want to lower my score. But I'm not <laughs> going to because, again, I enjoyed the first two-thirds. The story was – it's not a film that I would say that they didn't put any work into the screen. The, the script was horrible. The script no. was not great. But I enjoyed it. I can feel the passion I felt of what the end product was. The special effects, the visual effects were fantastic. But you're right. The acting of SRK is great. And I didn't even really – I haven't said this yet on this. I haven't really thought about it. As much as I couldn't stand the Aryan Khanna character, that's another plus to SRK yeah. because every movie I've seen him so far, he's so likable. And I think I mentioned on every review that we've done of his, Swadis, Verzara, there's one I'm missing out on that I can't think of right now. I always say, you know, he's just such a likable person. He's just so nice to watch or whatever. 
but he was such a punk in this one, and he was that diabolical character. So he had a fantastic. He plays two job. roles you don't want to like. And that acting, I mean, for one person to do dual roles, and you mentioned the trailer. Why would someone do it? We see the kind of yes, skills this that. guy has. Yep. So it's really cool. I'm super excited um, to be able to share this review with you with Jody here. If you like this review, then go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new to our channel. If you are a fan of other films from India or somewhere else, please let us know what those are so that we know to watch them and review them. We have a few polls on our community page and all that good stuff. Can't wait to see you back here tomorrow. Until next time. Bye.